There we go. I have the microphone way, way away and turned off. But what's up, everyone? It's time. It's been a while since we played Final Fantasy 16, and uh, well, we shall now. Because, uh, yeah, the DLC is out. And uh, it's the first time I've touched my PS5 since uh, finishing streaming Final Fantasy 16. Never did the uh, New Game Plus and Platinum the game like I said I was going to, but that's okay. Maybe I'll finally do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hope everyone's had a good day so far. It's just beginning, but, you know, anything can happen. Uh, why does the... <sighs> I said I was going to fix chatter, you know, and everything. I don't think I did, did I? Let me look at it. No, I did. Okay, well, at least it's better than it was. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think I've got everything set up on my Elgato the way that I'm supposed to have it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll just have to find out as we go along. The audio should be good. Test that a bit. And, uh, yeah. Let us just get right into it, I think. Do. Should be good. There's any issues with it? Thank you for questioning the Echoes of the Fallen. Yep. Already installed. Yep. First have unlocked Origin on the world map as well as... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, let's complete the set quest where there's a will and priceless. Pretty sure I did those. Origin, isn't that the uh, the final area? You literally can't play the DLC until you reach the final area. Awkward in the timeline, I think. But uh, whatever, I suppose. Give me a second, I'm just... Make sure I got the audio on my end is like as high as I want it to be. And make sure on your end it's not as loud. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're good. Uh, yeah. Start game. Back to their origin. Yep. Now change the outward appearance of Clive and his allies. Cool. Alright. Please tell me I got it. Still alive, are ya? Going purse weighing you down. Don't oh. think I did whatever side quest I'm supposed to do for the DLC. None of those ones. Lines and Sand, not that one. Carved in Stone, no. Trading Place, no. New. No. Yeah, literally have to unlock the final area before you can do do the DLC. Holy shit. I'm so glad I didn't overwrite my save. Alright. How am I supposed to start the thing then? I want air. I... I really should have read that again, huh? To know which quest I was supposed to do. Mm 
All right, let me see what quest do I is does start it. Cut from cloth and phoenix heal thyself. I think I did cloth. I don't think I did phoenix. Right? Yeah, phoenix. Okay, yeah. There it is. Oh man, I don't even remember the controls anymore, guys. We're gonna we're gonna die a couple times, I think, so be prepared. This one's Phoenix. She can't keep this up much oh, I don't I don't think it was this one, was this one? That guy's fine. Yo, what's up? Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. Found the recipe for morphine. The being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. I feel like I'm being manipulated here. Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas... Yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. You literally just asked me to do this! You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. I just got manipulated into this. This is the one I have to go to, right? Yep. I can't. I can't do other side quests. We we're on a mission here.
Good girl. Faster. the aqueduct. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, here we go. Just my luck. Well, I won't be picking anything till they're gone. There's only one thing for it. No? Remember when I was good at this? I'm so out of, like, practice. Did I not just TP back to... Oh, no, I didn't. Whoops. Stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? I try and plant some of it. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him. And I thank you for it. 
I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. All right. What's next? So there's a well. word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will, or something akin to it. His will? How and where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I am ready to leave when you are. And a lot more uh, side quests than I thought we would leading up to this, which I'm fine with. Opportunity no, you're not. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Your Grace, my Lord. I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found a letter from Father. Yes, I have it here. If you would do us the honor, my lord. Oh, I thought that, uh, they would have read it. Okay, fine. I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure a future for our duchy and our family. Yet even should we succeed in subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all Rosaria striving as one might, as one might we might, we, eh, we at last overcome it. Oh my god. I've made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. It shall be an arduous inheritance, and so I offer you another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for both of you, your father. Yeah, I can't read the uh, cursor, sorry. An inheritance. It would seem the late Archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing. The day before we left for Phoenix Gate. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the Duchy, Your Grace. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the Burning Quill, who entrusted them in turn to me. The complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse. God damn. And the founding of a new university 
to further the development of non magic Magitech. technologies. With the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elder <clears throat> saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals, to see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, he would never have written this message. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you, shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Mm. It is true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But one at least remains. And she has come oh? bearing gifts. What do you mean? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering his grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it. Or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, your grace. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we then? My lord, your grace. I, I don't I recognize you at all. I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goritha. You have our gratitude. For your service to our house, and to our father. I merely did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more? What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself, but it was not to be. And so we don't have any gifts. Complete. I was lied to. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you, as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress. Okay, cool. But with his grace long since gone, and the stone left... At least I still get it. I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do. Though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of elders. Oh my goodness, we're getting the fucking we do at least ball stones. To find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? You are most perceptive, your grace. In answer to your unspoken question, 
Yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? Again, just checking something. Titan's Wake is to the south of here. Yeah, I am able to just, uh... Okay, cool. We must not be hasty. The good lady has been disappointed once already. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her I can't do I can't whistle guys, I'm sorry. Okay, you're just fodder, I don't care. I'm going the right way. Literally don't care. Get out of my way. You know, considering I did, like, go straight through the game and everything, it is interesting to see, like, these things are, like, all over the place. Right. Let's go murder a bird. Do I lock onto it again? For House Rossfield. Oh shit. Joshua, heal me, please. Wait, does this thing just fucking... No. <clears throat> Do not tell me I accidentally, like, leashed it or something. Oh, I will be so pissed. Because it just healed up all of its health, almost. Not even all of its... It, 
almost all of its health. It was all of its health. Oh my fucking god. This one, that's a limit break potion. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I can't go that far. Oh my fucking god. Damn it. Easy. Annoying that I had to basically kill it, like, twice, but, you know. Keep that in mind, anyone that plays this. Ah. Is this the Hearthstone? I expect Lady God of the Hearthstone. Come on in. Take a seat by the fire. No. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to hear her call? Oh, thank the founder you were safe. The griffin is slain then. And a heartstone claimed. This radiant luster, like frozen flame, 
is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Godetha, the lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together, as Phoenix and Shield, as brothers in arms, only then yeah. would his enemies be overcome. Indeed. His grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Godetha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how are you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewelry be sent away. And she didn't say anything? It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. Okay. I tried to warn your father, <laughs> but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued. Until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that his grace's will had been recovered. And that his sons were alive and well. Lady Godetha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace, for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. Bands. Didn't even put them on. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. It is. And we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. <laughs> if you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing. And that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Shall we pay father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks. Before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since... Since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it. For it, too, is a part of your inheritance. And I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Come on, Clive. He's waiting.
The hell is that stomping around? Where's my... Okay. Is the armband actually an accessory I can wear now? Yep. Yeah, by far better. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Yes, I do actually. Save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Ah. Well, that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Hey, oh shit! Son of a bitch! You could have just left me alone, could you? Now you have to die. Screw you. It's just back there. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. And I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. We won't lay you down.
Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. We got bad news, guys. There's more side quests. You're not going straight. You're not going to the end yet. Oh, now he's permanently with me. Cool. Is this next quest Jill's gonna be with me permanently? Priceless. Not here. Do pr no, Priceless, it says what it's part of after, so... It said I had to... Oh, no, there it is. It is here. Who had it? I missed it. Might be old lady has it. Hi, Dion. You want to come with me for some adventure? The hour fast approaches. No. Time is nigh, Ifrit. Oh shit. Recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the curse. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I don't mind, but because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting, we're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions. I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test then? Another time, miss. No, I'll take a quest, I'm not gonna do it. One can never have too many scouts. Truer words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No oh, that like kid's waiting forever. I'll await you there. I've got another, like, world-ending phenomena I gotta deal with, Sai. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Why can I not see where the quest is? Glory to Griga. There you are. And not a moment too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. Oh, it's in a letter. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did.
Yeah, I'll talk to her later. I got I got quests to do. Sorry, guys. There's so, so much here that I haven't read. I don't know why I'm reading all this. We'll do it. If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. There we go. What other what other letter letter was in here? Oh, this is the... Okay, they saved the letter. Cool. Yeah, I can take that. Sure. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. I can change the uh, outfit and all, right? Do I change? I, I said it was in my quarters, but I didn't see it. Yo. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I've felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her, now more than ever. You still Aww. need her, but how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. <laughs> to see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing... He had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. In the rain. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? Uh, I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? Gotta set up the date. I mean, can I hide like the other quests and everything? Because otherwise they're going to be on this side the entire time. Yeah, they're still going to show up there. That's fine. 
Gonna bother me, but it's fine. I can only hope they disappear when, uh... Uh, what am I saying? I know they won't. Where is it? It's literally right there. Oh man, it's literally fucked up. Just this specific spot. This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's nowhere been spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but... It's the only place I know of. You, of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the mm, right back we there. go! When they said it wasn't far from here, they weren't joking. It's a shame the quest wasn't that easy. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. Say what you will. you down from the heavens, Sid. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climates Damn. and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go then. Yote is like obsessive, holy shit. Zer might at least have mentioned where in Northreach he'd be All right, let's let's recruit. we'll pick this up too while we're here. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. Yep. At your please. Just Sid. Oh, of course. The sergeant says yep. you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You I am. But I swore I'd face him. And who would that be? Gav! It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. It taught me what one man can do, and I've been training ever since, so that one day, I can be someone's savior. <laughs> you clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under- So, what? <sighs> you haven't even started yet. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout. East watch. The guards there recall and bring it here. And bring it here, right. No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of all without being discovered, and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember. 
Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. Damn it. All right, Ember. Impress me. Let's go. Faster. Just because we're here, you know, I don't want to, but time to fight. These are clean kills. Perhaps young Ember really is ready or not. Or maybe not. through me. Thanks for the help in all this, by the way, Joshua. I know this isn't what we said we were going to do, but... Ow. Always get me. It is then. Oh, I'm up here. Let's see what's in that chest. Can I jump? Ready, go. Nope. Yeah. Okay. BTP. Because going through the loading screens can be faster than uh, running. What a time we live in. I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had... He was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but apparently not. Oh, I'm sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Hey, how did you? 
Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And, now and I do. To decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. Yes, Sergeant. <sighs> this won't be an easy decision. Am I gonna... What do you mean e I feel like that's pretty easy. The High Cardinal. Ambrosio won't help me here. But done for. That's what I heard. Then it's lucky we stayed here. Was that shouting I heard from the barrel? Do you think he was the only one who survived? Oh, there is an exit over here. I didn't see it. Yep, that looks like it. Keep him away from the from the flowers. Ow. New enemies, oh my goodness. Level up. No, just short of it. Nope, nope, we got it. 45. That was harder than I expected. But 
had found her, it was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think God, I hope like so. She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Where's Jill? Where'd Jill go? Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yes. Welcome back. The trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. Does he deserve passing marks? Oh. Oh. I could do it, guys. I could be that guy. Ember lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. He pressed on, and he achieved his aim. And is that not what we ask of our scouts? Indeed it is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little Ouch. more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work. Any hand can be made to hold a blade, and any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conch and a half. Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. Delft as a brush there, huh? But his heart's in the right place. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. That time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Good night. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be asking for a day off. <sighs> Chance would be a fine thing. Back to work. Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. <laughs> Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. I just want to hide the quest. Can I hide the quest? They still, they still mark them. Why? Don't, don't mark them. 
I shouldn't have accepted them, because now it's going to bother me seeing them the entire time while I'm killing Omega. to show you there is and where might this something be it's uh, not here now I know this is sudden but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. You remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... Oh. Tried to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of wow. staying for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. Where do you see us? When all this is over. Aww. I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, 
The realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. Oh. I never was much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. Said Garland. Yeah. <laughs> We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. She with me permanently now too? Clive is really just a hoarder. He keeps collecting all the stuff. Yep, there we go. These these surely should have been uh been mandatory quests or something. I mean, I like that they have a lot of the side quests are like you know unlock features and everything, but or at least a better indicator on which side quests are unlocked stuff because stuff like ambrosia being like you know a side quest is good and all but i don't remember it being obvious that i was like oh yeah this unlocks something for you that's kind of important that you have it not just important but it feels like it's wrong if you don't have it like give me my dlc It's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up while you can. Uh, let's buy the fill up on potions real quick. Coin purse weighing you down. You're rubbing Very blind, shut up. You know. Sorry, that was, that was harsh. Wait, shit, I've got to sell. Oh, don't. Clive. Go on, then. I have junk to sell. Got so much of like these things. Pretty sure I haven't needed them for anything in a while. If I do, well. Fuck. Figure it out later. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Is that all? Oh, wait, shit. I still gotta talk to her for the quest. All right, here we go, guys. 
DLC starting. A dangerous world out there. Let's stock up while you can. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem perturbed. Do I now? How clever of you to notice. But yes, someone's come to my attention. And I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They call in them Dusk Crystals, on account of colour. I see. And they can be used to cast magics? That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Difference is, they don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. Front crystal trade is moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. Feel that, Clive? Yes. Right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Please tell what you've bought another London. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? for a single spa. Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run? Wait for us, Chief! I've never felt a tremor this far inland before. Me neither. 
But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color... They couldn't be from... Origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from Origin or any of the other Mother Crystals, then... Does that mean... That you missed one? Aye. Oh, yeah. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once-over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. All right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Can we hide these quests? Okay, I got to Oh my god. They're really going to show there the entire time. Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Aye. That is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these dusk crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or, perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Uh, wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice, and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim, though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Car's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power, and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. 
So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the Colloquy of the Sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War. A pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high. And when at last they ventured to do so, the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitek mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen, where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with them, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Shall we then, brother? I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. Woo! The gang's all here. God, I want those quests off my side. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do those quests real quick. I gotta get rid of them. I don't want to see them on my thing while I'm doing this. God, I shouldn't have to grab them. I should have kept. I should have kept looking at the uh, guide to find out where that priceless quest was. Instead of talking to everyone. Vivian, I read your note. And I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... <sighs> but perhaps it is best that you hey, hear details back. from him. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. 
Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something. No, we can he's do dying. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I. I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't forget that you guys made me do side quests because I... It literally is, like, bothering me seeing... Those notifications under the only thing that I wanted to do today. <laughs> It puts me one step closer, I guess, towards the, uh, platinum, so whatever. God, there's a lot of side quests I gotta do here. It's on me, too, for not saying no. I can say no to these people, and I keep saying yes. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Hippocrates. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. You've been talking to Vivian. Right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did naught to dissuade her. Clive. If the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Coveters of Secrets. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order were it oh my. become widely known. Or, so rumor has it. I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized. Be it books, inventions, or people. Fucking Illuminati, guys. Before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. Then my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes, upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. 
Very well. When I least find myself to elude, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Yeah, you're gonna find yourself in there right now. We're going right now. Five. Okay, we're going. Everyone's going. The whole crew's going. I would love to do my my Omega quest right now, but unfortunately. I'm a dumbass. Everyone's with me, right? Wait, oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Everyone's here. Run like the wind. Don't get surrounded. That really was the only misstep of this game is not being able to not having like a party consistently in the game with you and like being able to equip them and all, isn't it? The entire village looks abandoned. Now which house would I book where I'm living? Alright, where is he? Is a royal army logbook. <laughs> His interests were certainly varied. Moogle. Oh, there it is. I want to read this. Emergence of the first magic addicts was widely heralded as a gift from the gods. Indeed, the title with which those with the gift came to be commonly known is most likely a contraction of Bearer of the Heavenly Blessing. Wording used by the tribunes of the time, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, okay, I, I'm not going to read the entire thing. It's longer than I thought. And on top of that, my, my friggin' dyslexia. <laughs> I will I will read it wrong. This is true. I need to get All right, let's see if they try and way. bite me now. Let's see if the Illuminati comes after me. Could just fast travel out. <laughs> Leaving so soon, stranger. We've been watching you from a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. Then we need not waste time Don't on do this, man. No. Hand me the book. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. Dude, you don't really think- you've been watching me. You should know you can't win. Let's see, shall we?
didn't really think they could have won, right? Did they really expect, like, anything else? Ain't very smart, are they? Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? Then read it. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief yeah, 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 comes yeah. the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. No, we're not. I'm not we continuing this quest line for a while. Until then. Wait. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these... executors. And I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie... that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable, that it can be changed, provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, heretic you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallow stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. 
Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather closer perspective than I had intended. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you, as I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. All right. Didn't see what it was I just got. I'm assuming it was another thing for my uh, collection. I'm hoarder. All right, let's, uh, where do I upgrade my bonus here? Just again. We got a lot. We got a lot. Now kill bug. Probably going bigger than I expect it to be. This is stalling. DLC is only like three hours, so I'm going to stretch it out by doing this shit. <laughs> I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything. How long have you been here, dude? Ripping piece of the bar. I know you're all afraid. Goblinos. All right. Was easy. Here we go. Rodrigo could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. No I? Oh nope, there it is. Cool. Hopefully one will be enough.
Thank goodness you're back. Yep, yep, yep. Take it, take it, take it. Skipping cutscene. Yes, I'm loath to give a patient Alicia a single dose stalls even the most agate. It may be a gentle way to die. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Let's go, DLC! Indeed. Let's ask. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all the way from the gates, but... Swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up exactly? Hey, are you joking? This business with the crystals. Sorry, 
We've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Well, he saw it, it went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every traitor who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you want to keep your sword handy. It's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Porta Solda. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. Still some distance ahead, I'd wager. They were making a good pace. Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Yeah. Perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me. But did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them, they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Towards the old hilt docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And then we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. haven't found them either. There's still time. Oh, these guys are higher level than I thought they would be. Damn. You lot took a wrong turn. Sir! Lord Rossfield sent his cell swords, oh. didn't he? Come here to go with brigands. 
Thanks, brother. Well, I'm trying to, but, uh, you know. They wanted to fight, so we gotta take care of them quickly. Well, this isn't at all foreboding. It's the wrong guy. Yeah, I feel bad whenever we're like fighting like more or less regular people. They stand no no chance, but uh Poor guy. Where are they? Go on, Peter. You can go on. Chief, move Peter. I'll reach. Uh, this should be far enough. Uh, Chief, they've found us. Uh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crystal. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here, I can smell the one who. Which one of them did it? Himself. Who pooped? Um, if you've got a plan, Chief. Tell us you've got a plan. Of course, I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? <sighs> Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. <laughs> Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <sighs> Do let us know if you need any more. Seriously? <laughs> they won't get far, Clive. No. But they'll wish they had. I think I just killed him. Oh. 
Just thinking of the doggy. Come here. Did you see which way they went? North. Making for three reeds at a guess. After them. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. Faster! There was something odd about those three. They seemed less like merchants and more like... Charlatans? One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mama without his mopping. Then why am I not amused? Judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits. <sighs> I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. Yeah! They wouldn't risk stopping at Martha's rest, would they? Not if they hope to pass unnoticed. We better there they are. The swamps. Nope, no time, crabs. Persistent bastards, I'll give him that. Friends, I knew those louts were no match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd needs a wolf straight to you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are they getting worse? Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. That's impossible. Yeah, hey, Chief, do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. And what would they find there if they did? I... I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I... Uh... Look! Behind you! An Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clive, trouble. What? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> 
Well, that was ill-timed. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. I... I don't see anyone. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? And let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You, you don't mean... The Dusk Crystal's Eye. Halleck? Malik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? Ah. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. Yeah, because we're going to be killing everything that's in those towers for them. <laughs> And you're sure they're bound for the tower. <sighs> when they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labeled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there. Like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. I just, uh... Himself. save real quick while I can. Which one do I save over? I guess I would save over this one, right? Save over this one? Let both of them do it. Okay, that's fine. I was worried that, like, if I... Saved over, I didn't have that star anymore for completion. using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Clive, remember where we are. No magic. Right. They're even uglier up close. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Joe? You may want to see this. What? It was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. Seems somebody's woken this place up. The question is... Who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. Someone's here. Initializing security scan. Safety protocols disengaged. I don't think that was someone, Clive. I think it was the tower. Either way... It doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. Getting a lot of like as is blah vibes from this place. Is that what I want to touch? Goblins? Escapement bit, was that? Disability cooldown time and restore small move your game one precision dodge. Try that.
Hein? Okay, the oh my god, she flew. Let's go, level up. There's no mother crystal. Yet. We still have plenty of tower to explore. Thank you for the potion.
core defense systems engaged. Initiating sterilization longer. What the hell is he talking about, Joshua? Good things, lads. Good things. your friend to get out of this place. Now! Dude fucking tanked that, by the way. What the hell? A Sigma. <laughs> He's back up already. Oh shit. That's guy. I didn't fully break him. I just, uh. Oh well. Ow. Ow.
to boot up your PS5 yet. Oh, ow, 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 ow. So rusty. Okay, I gotta heal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's it? Where's my potions? Uh, at shortcuts. There we go. Oh fuck. Use all my uh, potions before I got to the uh, actual boss, by the way. That's gonna be fun. Wish oh, you would stop getting me in the middle of my abilities. God damn it. Oh, fuck that is so fast. Got him. Sigma male goes down. Get wrecked. Ooh, new weapon. Oh, hi. You good? Now. A well-placed strike to Sentinel's outer knee. Only the knee, apparently. That's all we got something from. You good, Hype? Okay. Security Sentinel 503, offline. Initiating emergency call relocation protocol. If I didn't know better, I'd say that was the heart of a mother crystal. I knew that fallen thing was no match for you. Allow me to apologize for earlier. That was, uh, ill played. All born of a misunderstanding, though. Can we start again? We don't need your apologies. 
We need answers. And you're going to give them to us. I uh, suppose you'll be wanting to know about the tower, then. As you've probably guessed, this isn't the first time we've been here. Fact is, my people have been coming to this place for centuries. Have they now? To these ruins in particular? Aye, well, they, uh, talked to us. Told us what this lot was all for. And what is it for? Well, believe it or not, the Fallen were actually using this place to make their own, uh, Mother Crystal. Though, despite years of searching, all we ever found was shards. Then, Harpocrates was right. It would seem that the Fallen did indeed acquire the gods' ability to craft crystals. I wouldn't go that far. The shards aren't exactly divine. They're not even what you'd call decent. But they're better than nothing, and nothing is what our people had before we found them. So we've been coming here ever since. But these dust crystals have only recently appeared on the black market. What made you decide to start selling them? The skies. Once they went dark, the crystals started growing back, till there were more than you could count. And with the mothers all cracked, anyone with anything that could muster so much as a spark had people queuing up to take their coin. Yes, at a cost to us all. Quality apart, these crystals are no different from the ones the world has been using since the dawn of time. And it cannot continue. No, it cannot. While this is clearly none of Ultima's doing, there can be little doubt but that it serves his cause. Then our path is clear. So let's do what must be done. Wait, you lot aren't thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Oh, I think there's a good chance we are. But, but uh, what about... What about the tower's defenses? That thing you just fought, it won't be the last one. And the further you climb, the worse they'll get. How about we head back to Martha's before someone gets hurt, eh? That is sound advice. Which I suggest you take. Before someone gets hurt. Um. Are you sure you don't want to think this over? We could talk about it outside. We're good. Goodbye. To think the Fallen built all this. The knowledge they must have needed. Knowledge now lost. Withdrawals. Aether withdrawal. If this is like every other fallen ruin, then there'll be a lift. What the? There's a chocobo? They seem to be containers of Goblin. Oh, or perhaps. Cages. Minotaur. Like some sort of twisted menagerie. But why here? Trying to recreate them?
Fallen Belt. Is that better than the one I'm using? It is by a lot. Jesus Christ. Doggos. Dragons. How many of these things are there? Contaminant detected. Releasing subjects Alpha, Two, Epsilon. <laughs> Like continuation here, they started saying, yeah. No, this is uh, <clears throat> right before the final battle. This entire storyline takes place right before that. I do think it's a bit weird, but uh, yeah. Considering it made it seem like, you know, you gotta get to Origin ASAP or else, you know, end of the world and all that. And here we are, I had to do a bunch of side quests. Just to unlock the uh, DLC. If they build this place to grow crystals, why it's using the Aether from the creatures to uh, make crystals. Calling it now. Just like the doors. Development log entry 680925. Mitogenic reactor trial successful. 23 units of grade 3C crystal produced. Moving forward, all seeds fabricated from inorganic material are to be replaced with lab grown organic specimens. Organic specimens? So they were turning living creatures into crystals. Oh, there's just it's something has been nesting in here for a while. Where's that magic guy? There he is. Get him. Nice try. Stay down. It's over. 
That's the first time I mistimed the punch because I started getting itchy in the head and I'm like, I can't. Stop it. Is that sword that I picked up better? Oh my fucking god, it is, isn't it? Holy shit, it is. This, this sword that I go through a whole quest line for and everything is not nearly as good as this one. Let's go. Nourishment belt. Oh, is that a... Uh, yeah, it is. Increase HP regain potential when taking damage while automatically restoring HP regain gauge. Take this one. Can we go in here? Nope. Omicron. Of course they built more than one. So it appears this incarnation can fly. Ow. 
I was doing well on that one and then almost blew it. Increase damage that with most aerial attacks. Hmm. And that makes two. Yes. But of how many? We got one more coming. Of that I can be certain. Well, that depends on how determined they were to conceal their activities. This is all too easy. If the tower is in control, why not simply disable the lift? What are you suggesting, Joshua? That it's hurting us. Gonna try and uh, turn us into crystals. But there's an entire fleet. I wonder if any are still capable of flight. Mid will want to see this. Really? I can see my house from here. How much can I see from here, yo? a lot. No, I mean, I just wanted to save the uh, thing right before the fight, but it wouldn't let me. Can I save now? Now I can. Place father's uh, armband. That was a legacy gift to me and my brother. Let's see. Yo, dad's bracelet's trash. Get it out of here. Let's go. All sentimentality thrown away. Activity detected in Hangar Bay. Mobilizing each of units. 
being watched. Then let's show them what we're capable of. Come on. Evil? Oh my goodness. Someone take, someone take one of these other ones so I can focus this one down. Oh, yeah. That's already. Disengagement. Indicates precise pair timing by temporary changing the color of a target's display name. Like easy mode. I got I'm gonna use that though. I thought the other thing would passively heal me beyond whatever um my regen thing is, it did not, so I'm not gonna use it. Sentry prototype AM2 to Stasis Silo West. We'll just have to hope those crystals it's sporting are as worthless as the others. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Finally got me. With everything that he could have hit me with, 
That's what he hits me with, just a regular bite. Fucking hell. this shit again. Dude, did you seriously get hit by that? God damn it. That was easy. Neural link lost. Where is that? 
establishing connection. Imagine an entire war fought with these things. The quantity of ether required to animate them all would be unfathomable. No wonder they were trying to manufacture their own crystals. Unable to establish connection. Raising threat index. It seems we've made an impression. Perhaps the rest of the cages will open now. Don't tempt... They Joshua. Forgive me, brother. They... may not? The light motif. Da -da 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 -da. God fucking damn it. I just I'm just listening to say literally are using 14's uh, Omega theme as a backdrop for this and I love it. They can't help themselves. I mean, I'm, I'm not upset by it. I think that's one thing that, like, Final Fantasy needs a bit more of. Like, yeah, Battle on the Big Bridge has always been the same. But, like, I feel like there's a couple, like, iconic, like, bosses and everything that they should, should have been doing something similar with, in my opinion. How the hell do these goblins get up here? These goblins stronger than uh, the defenses? Or have they already been in here for like God knows how long? What have they been eating? Increases the rate at which damage multiplier rises while enemies are staggered as well as increases damage multiplier to 200%. Battle technique double impact is earned upon attaining the ma multiplier maximum. Ah, uh, yeah.
say it looks oddly familiar. Familiar how? I don't remember. Guys, what are you doing standing in there? Ow. Fuck! Ah. Ow, oh, fuck. Okay, we gotta, we gotta use that. I'm so bad at dodging this guy's stuff. Please drop potions. Please drop potions. No potions. Improves limp break induced enhancement while well, increasing HP regen during limp break by 50%. Also, fatal damage taken while limp break is full. Limp break is automatically triggered, preventing KO. Except under special circumstances such as being in the Deadlands. Sure. Bit fit. Error. Uh. Damn. I think I gotta use this one then. I should put on uh, this also. And save.
diverting reactor power. I think it's getting ready to receive us. Ah, there's another one of those devices. Okay, well, let's see if there's a chest out here for us or something. Let's depart. go this way? Oh, there was a, uh... Dodge that. Another mini boss. Ow, 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 ow. No, get the uh, big one. There we go.
There we go. Magic kill. Barely get any of those. Secondary and tertiary firewalls breached. Code red. Code red. The heart must be close. How's our chance? Unauthorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing iconoclastic defense system Omega-1. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it. <laughs> if we want it. All we have to do is kill an icon. Safety routines disabled. Weapons armed. Stand clear.
Assessment complete. Recalculating threat level. Weapon routines authorized. Rerouting core power to Omega One. Not yet. And what makes you say that? Damn it. Fuck this shit. One second, I gotta swap the high potion back. Oh, I only have one high potion. Cool. Do I have any other potions? No, I just have the elixir after that.
shit. Do you feel the heat, brother? Seems like it still has some fire left in it. Stop running out of that. Oh, wait, what? I didn't know I could do that. Wait, what? Oh, I should be using Shiva dodges more often. I can still take damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great beat drop right there. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, what? I have the last elixir. Wait, what? Does it not? Does it not use the thing? I thought it was supposed to use it automatically when I die. What the fuck? I got lied to. I know I didn't die. What the fuck? Unavailable. Oh my god, I can't use it here. 
That's why, that's why, I, oh my god. Okay, whatever. I did not see a single safe spot there, damn it. Block with Titan, it didn't work. Block when you shut up. Still didn't get it. <laughs> that is so fast.
All right, here we go. This time I'll get it. You ready? Here we go. I still didn't get it. <laughs> get me out of here. Oh shit. Break on now. Oh, I can't even uh, do a thing anymore. Bring Fortnite into this fight. Oh shit, that is way closer than I thought. Jesus Christ. Guys, the wall's closing in. Oh no, we're dead. Oh shit, we get it? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god.
the control unit. Offline. Initiating emergency core extraction. Would you care to do the honors, Clive? <laughs> Gladly. For what? I thought I told you to leave this place. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. We need these crystals. They're all we have. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe. One of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the twins. A nation without a mother crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The dust crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? Like all crystals, these shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It sucked from the land, as a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? No, but that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force, till naught remains, naught but death. The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me! You're Sid! You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will, that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses? Your people's need will count for naught. Damn it. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way, then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here.
I hope we did the right thing. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. We have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. However blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. You're planning to run away? Again? What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like... Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, it's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. Besides, one man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but fine. Now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I said, we've got places to be. Back to the hideaway, then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. All right. Are you? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from, or what? It's, uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Bloody hell. 
Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. <sighs> Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well? Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never ceased to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. You can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it, as they did... Who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial heart, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps, just perhaps, Forge a brighter future for our descendants. Just want to see if uh, the Orchestrion Core Omega's boss themes in there. It is. We buy it. You'll not find a better price than that. <sighs> Let's see about uh, the. What can we craft the new oh, stuff? Don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Trouble with your gear, or. Omega oh, weapon. Blasphemous coupling of living flesh and synthetic bone. This relic of an age long forgotten shudders with that self-same vital spirit that animated the Sage Spire's mightiest of sentinels. Alright. No scratches, alright? None of the accessories are even worth it. I still gotta get the stone tongue. Even that's not even better than what I'm wearing, though. Yeah, none of the crafted accessories are better. It only gets worse as I improve these ones. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Yep. Look at that. 
That is cool. That's a badass weapon. Yeah, let's see. That was Omega Steam, right? Oh, that blasted... Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for tonight then. Uh, like I said, just wanted to do the DLC today. Uh, I'll be back. Might not be back Monday. Might take Monday off. Because. Hmm. <clears throat> excuse me. I want to get some stuff done and everything. Next year? <laughs> yeah, won't stream until next year, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That was good. That was a uh, pretty good DLC. Very short. Uh, it said three hours. It took me two. And half of the stream was me trying to get those prereq quests and everything, but... Whatever. I enjoyed it. Oh, they literally using this the lyrics from uh what do you call it? Like even the lyrics are from Omega's uh 14 theme. They literally couldn't help themselves. They just uh really mashed that in a uh, filter and everything. I love it. <laughs> all right. Have a good night everyone. Love you all. Thank you everyone that watched. Appreciate it. I'll be back uh like I said. Probably not Monday, probably Tuesday. Uh and yeah. Peace. Oh, and, uh, okay, I'll see you on, uh, I'll see you on Sunday. All right, white people out. <laughs>